Electric cars are already seemingly everywhere, but with automakers like Tesla, General Motors, Volkswagen, and Toyota set to unload millions of EVs on the global car market in the next several years, we'll soon see an explosion of battery-powered cars. Here to talk about automaker challenges and opportunities with EVs is Rebecca Lindland. She's an executive analyst with Kelly Blue Book. Thanks for joining us, Rebecca. Thanks so much for having me on. So right now, electric cars are not profitable for automakers, and Tesla is notably struggling to stay in operation. So when do you think EVs will be profitable and cost competitive with traditional cars? I think based on the experience that I've seen with a vehicle like the Toyota Prius, I think it could be at least 10, 12 years before manufacturers are profitable with electric vehicles. It's important to know that it's not consumer demand so much driving uh, the influx of electric vehicles, it's really regulations. And those regulations are both here in the US as well as in China. And of course other, uh, particularly in Scandinavia where uh, the governments are just trying to get cleaner air and cleaner vehicles on the road. Mm -hmm, definitely. And Tesla, in a sense, is a car leader uh, on the electric side. But who do you think is it that who's really leading the charge here as far as investments in EVs and getting them on the road here in the U.S.? Well, you know, it's interesting because General Motors and particularly their Chevrolet brand, they're not really associated with the very latest technology. And yet the reality is that the Chevy Bolt with a B is a vehicle that is is actually thirty five thousand dollars and does have over three hundred miles of range, both of which are the Tesla Model Three goals. And yet the Tesla Model Three uh, just really hasn't been able to get their production woes addressed. But mm -hmm. the issue really is that consumers just don't think about Chevrolet and General Motors as a high tech company. They do certainly think of Tesla that way. So it's really a challenge for General Motors to get onto that consideration list for people that are looking and interested in electric vehicles. Sure. And speaking of the Model 3, I hear you actually considered buying one and now you're not. What made you change your mind? So I did. I signed up. I, I put a deposit down probably about two weeks afterwards. I thought about it for a while. But I like to consider myself a Tesla realist. So I love what Elon Musk is doing. I think that we need people like him in the industry, in the world. You know, I love the idea of the solar panels with the power wall and the electric vehicle all tied in. The issue that I have with the Model 3 is several and why I asked for my deposit back. Uh, first of all, it doesn't look like I would be getting one until about probably late 2019 because I live in Connecticut. I need all-wheel drive. Uh, the other thing is that the, t uh, the type of vehicle that I would want, the equipment level that I would want, it would probably be closer to fifty to $60,000. And then uh, the third thing is that it's actually a sedan and not a hatchback. And I need that kind of utility. This would be my only vehicle. And I want that. I want the utility of a hatchback. So for those reasons, I decided I'm out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like Tesla, clearly those production woes, as you mentioned, a big backlog of those vehicles, they're clearly struggling. And a very great example here, uh, outlining the challenges that automakers do face with EVs. And you touched on the regulatory aspect and also for GM, kind of that tech image that needs to happen. But what else will it take before consumers really do make the switch to EVs from gas powered cars in a meaningful way? I think there's a couple of things. First of all, one of the biggest challenges is simply that the consumer doesn't see the electric vehicle as making their lives better. It doesn't provide enough emotional solutions, we call them at KBB, when we think about the types of vehicles that somebody wants to purchase. Uh, the other thing is that in terms of when will we start to see more mass adoption, right now uh, electric vehicles are only about 1% of new car sales every month, 1%. Um, and hybrids are only about 2.5%. So we have a long way to go before we're at mass market. But I do think there's actually really interesting uh, attitudinal studies regarding what we call Gen Z, the youngest generation. 
And those are the people that are really under 16, so they're not even in the marketplace yet, but they have a very global view. They really are very environmentally aware, and they will actually, I believe, they'll really expect their vehicle to be clean, to be electrified, uh, to have autonomous features, to really have a very different relationship with their vehicle Mm -hmm. than their parents and grandparents did today. That's right. Well, it will definitely take time, but it sounds like all of the automakers are really all in on EVs. They are for sure. (laughs) All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. We really appreciate your thoughts. Thank you. And make sure to check out Investors.com for the latest on automakers and other compelling industry group action. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alyssa Corum.